Welcome back! I'm Lennox, this is Mega Man X4, and let's get on with it. So, we've apparently lost the easiest boss for last. Frost Walrus. He is huge. I... Protects the secret weapon which lies inside the snow... Snow something. Snow base? Snow base. Ready! Uh, that's that's pretty funny that there's Blizzard Buffalo is it's Blizzard Buffalo from X3. Uh, it's just basically hanging out there. I I always found that hilarious. It's basically frozen enemies in the background, which is I thought really the coolest thing. It's next game, so um, the standard rule applies. You should always go after the ice boss first. I went after Web Spider first, and well, show how well that worked out for me. Just basically, the bits of enemies around. Oh, right. There's the heart tank. I should go and get that. And in fact, that's not an instant death area <laughs> at all. That's uh, the rest of the stage. So we, we need to go down here and uh, at least pick this up. There's that. I, there's two more items in this stage. Oh, well that's an easy way to die. Ready. I didn't know you could do that. But at least it started us back here. Um, the EX, there's the W tank is in this stage, and so is something called the EX tank. Um, uh, there's basically... Uh, it's, it's not a very useful ability, but, uh, okay. uh, okay. That was a little close. Okay. That is the EX tank. Um, it's completely useless, but we need it. And by need it, I mean we want it. The EX tank, um, now it's an hour thing says EX in the bottom corner. What that means is now that every time we have to go back to continue, we have four lives instead of two. Yeah. So useful, isn't it? Just the the most useful of it's a sense of it. No, it's not, okay. Sorry, I used to playing the SNES games and they usually don't have stuff like that. Kind of feel like a blind thing. So there we go. This is this was always I thought was really cool. So we've seen Blizzard Buffalo. Is from X3. Oh, right. That's an instant death pit. Ready. Um, see, I don't know what's in the ice there. I don't remember who the ice theme boss for uh, X2 was anymore. Or even if there was one. I don't think there was an ice theme boss for X2. Someone will probably correct me. Somebody will probably correct me. It's just a neat little liver. Go. Nope. So now X1 and X3 had frost boss ice thing bosses. No, there weren't there was not an ice thing boss. And there's Chill Penguin there and the frozen in the ice there and his uh, I've taken damage more. Which is 
Which is one of the things I liked, one of the nice touches I liked about this one. Okay, now it's gonna drop ice in my face. So, yeah. You can tell this is a regular, this is just a sub-boss by the fact that it does not have any, uh, okay, now this There we go. You can tell this is going to be a pain by the presence of, uh... Ready. It's a mid-boss because there's a skull. So... Yeah, this one's easy. So, this is this was kind of cool. This was kind of a neat effect. Was they basically uh, gave you the ability? They basically you shoot your way through a stage, and some of the ice blocks have things in them. Now we have all the tanks, all of the heart, all the tanks, and all the hearts. We are. We have collected everything in the game. As far as I know, there is not. Those things, if they, if they get their payload off, if those things get their payload off, they turn the area into basically an ice sheet. And it's really frustrating to try and get Um, because of the way things are, we only really need the, we only really need the W tank if we fire off a lot of charge shots. If we end up firing off a lot of charge shots, well, and we want to start shooting off regular shots again, or if we never get the head part. If you never use if you never get the head part and you like using a specific special weapon, the W tank is probably worth having. It's just not that useful. Oh, yep, that's what it does. That uh, recharges basically. It doesn't refill the W tank at all. Those big ones never will, never will fill a tank, but they will refill uh, one thing completely. So here we are. Uh, there's two ways of dropping Frost Walrus. Um. I always wonder why are some of these guys so damn big? I mean, these are these are robots. They are constructed. Why would you build a robot this big for no real purpose? There's such a kid like you after me. I promise to end this quickly. The problem with him is well, he's his weapon hurts him, and big so it makes using that easy but you have to get right up next to him you have to get right up in front of his face to use that ability and what it does do is it's, it basically causes him to basically slide around the table like that with his giant no steel knuckles spike knuckles Rawr. It does quite a bit. It does some damage. It's nice. You'd have to hit him with every single shot if you wanted to beat him with the... Oh. No. 
That's one of his moves, and basically sprays an ice thing out there. It completely missed me, which I was kind of surprised about. I was expecting to take a hit from that thing. So... Well... You got Frost Tower. Tower. Frost Tower... Kinda useless. Generates a huge ice block that acts as a shield. They also be used to trap enemies before dissipating. Using it offensively? Painful. Um, the boss is weak to his Jet Stingray. I don't think I will use it for Jet Stingray at all. Because Jet Stingray irritates me. There, there's all the armor parts. And everything. Oh, something got serious. The music changed. The Ripple Force has begun assembling! Where are they? The spaceport! They plan to take off! Into space! Hurry! We have to stop the Colonel! So, new stage. Spaceport. Ready! So, here we go. Primarily these these putts isn't fighting. I don't want to know why the those things jump like that. It's a little disturbing. And the air dash is really convenient for just getting the heck out of the way. And the plasma ball is good for carrying, taking care of follow-on enemies. Areas like this. Extra life. Yeah, at this point in the game, I've basically geared up enough, and I'm otherwise powerful, I have enough tricks up my sleeve, that I don't need to do anything. I don't I usually don't use the EX tank at this point in the game because and getting it earlier in the game, like if I'd had it, I could have got it because of the spider. But, uh, I would have had to, you know, fight my way through a spider more. And I'm sure you guys like watching me getting my ass handed me by web spider, but it was kind of frustrating, especially the I HP I had one left. Once you get a sub tank, if you can beat them within an inch of their life, you can drop a sub tank and then finish them off. Huh, salt up there. So we got one full sub tank and then a half a tank. Which should be enough. Although I think we have to fight Colonel. Time to fight Colonel. Colonel, step back! I'll stop anyone who tries to interfere with our independence. Enough of this! It's only an illusion! You hunters will never be able to understand us. Get ready, X. Show me what you've got. That's his other ability. He basically gets another ability. His main slash hurts a lot. His main ability hurts a lot, which is that sword slash. But if you've got hover, ow! Son of a! You can basically dodge his. Yeah. And now he's gonna show up in the center. Go ahead and drop my half full sub tank. Honestly, it feels like if you don't have the sub tank full all the way, all right.
right, he's got that ability too. Things you forget about. Ow! There he goes. Impressive, but it's too late. The Ripple Force already left for space. I'm beaten, but the Ripple Force will never perish. The Reploid's nation will be born in the vastness of space. Colonel! Uh, honestly, if they just left and then didn't come back, I don't see what the problem would be. I just... Ripple Force! We want to be independent, okay? We're going to leave. See ya! You feeling any homicidal tendencies? Nope. Reptile Force has fallen off into space. Double, watch the ship for me. I'll go after them. Sir, reconsider what you're doing. It's far too dangerous. We don't have any other option. I'm leaving you in charge here, Double. Final weapon. Except for oh. the giant ground-based space hey, laser. Watch it. I'm terribly sorry. It's me. Hmm. Those hunters must not be allowed in here. Terminate them. Roger. What a freak. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Double, what's the matter? Yeah. Oh. oh, no. Awkward. This is another kind. Seventeenth unit. Commander X, please respond. What happened? Nothing to worry about. No further transmissions unless necessary to carry out the operation. Understood. I'm breaking contact. All right. And now, X will be my next target. <laughs> <laughs> we need some more evil after with him. That's double. Um, yeah, apparently our, our, our rookie hunter is actually a spy. Who would have thought? Rookie hunter is a spy to kill us, sent by whoever the mysterious man in the cloak was. I wonder who he could be. I wonder who he could be. Okay. Come here. There we go. Oh. What the? Okay, it takes two shots of that. Yeah, we haven't actually even seen all the characters here. So that's why we have to play Zero. Hey there, Double. What are you doing? What, what are you doing here? I, I told you to watch the ship. D Double? Why, why are you here? <laughs> the Mavericks, the Hunters, and Rep Force. Idiots, all of them. They're making my job too easy. Wh what are you talking about? Double, what are you saying? Think it over to heaven. Die, X! Apparently, Reploids go to heaven. Or at least X does. I'm gonna recycle you. <laughs> <laughs> His weakness is, ironically and appropriately enough, the double side one. Which is appropriate, because he's both generally pretty airborne, and his name is Double. I'm pretty sure that was the joke. Double! Damn! How could I lose to a weakling like you? The other thing I liked is, when you have his upgrades, it shows up in his picture in front of the speed lines. Double, tell me, why did you do this? Yeah, you're so naive, X. I was sent as a spy from the very beginning to keep an eye on you. Double, I, I trusted you. Yes, X, you trust everybody. Why? Why? I guess you want to believe? And then you get your hopes crushed in that naiveness may be your fatal flaw. Goodbye, X. See you in the afterlife. 
Double! And... This looks like a good time to call the video. Except that we have to go through the rest of the stage first, apparently. Crap. Okay. I suppose I can look at that. Oh, right. This is basically one of two ways you can go. And I think I just picked the stupid way. Yeah, I may have just picked the stupid way. Because I believe those are all instant death spikes. Uh, at least I got the head part. I'm kind of curious why, why they have a giant beam cannon in the ceiling, you know, in their space final weapon thing that they kind of need to hack to do whatever nefarious plots they have. Yep, those are some death spikes, ladies and gentlemen. Ready. Uh, you know what? Nuts to that. We're going to go down. got to be easier than that. So, Ready. okay, um, I don't think I have to beat double a second time, but, uh, I think this is the lesser of two evils. Thought it over, this is the lesser of two evils. So, we are going to do this. We're, we're just gonna... Of course, proper Linux fashion, I take. Take a shot in the face. I was... I'm taking damage, which is why. Probably should not have used my head tank up, my stuff tank up. Uh, on double. Because I have to fight this guy now. Remember that thing I talked about? Giant flipping robots? Why? General, what are you planning to do? We're going to build a nation for the Reploids. That's our ultimate goal. We'll fight anyone who tries to interfere with our independence. There must be alternatives... ...to this mindless fighting. We were called Mavericks without justifiable reason. What other choice did we have than to fight? As I said, he has a point. But it's too late now. Get ready, X. It was our destiny to fight. Okay. I... I don't like fighting. Unfortunately... Okay. Right. Apparently this is what you're supposed to do to him. Yeah, no, that's more effective. That's much more effective than the X-Buster. He shoots his fists at us. Shoots his fists at us and then shoot laser beams from the from his shoulder, from the wrists. Why do we have robots this big? We gotta pretty much shoot him in the head. Gonna, he's basically going to cycle through doing that now. Uh, through the rest of the... 
I'm going to try and just commit to win, committing to win, commit to win, commit to win, commit to win, commit to win, committed to win, got it, good. He's mostly blown up at this point. What? What happened? It can't be. This weapon must, must be malfunctioning. General, what do you mean? Someone else is controlling it. You must hurry, X. The Earth is in danger. All right, I'll stop the weapon myself. Okay, now we're going to call it for now. We've got uh, we've got a malfunctioning weapon to sort out. And, uh, we will see you again next time.